All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Wabrak HaKodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing this word in all truth and all sincerity. Now this lesson is inspired by uh, the video from uh, Elder Yashwamba out there in Dallas, which was entitled, uh, Leading Yourself is the Best Way to Lead. And also, um, I read... Matthew's the fourth chapter recently, okay? And um, I was listening to Elder Yashawamba, you know, um, you know, his lesson, and pretty much he was getting into how we have to constantly examine ourselves, okay? And this is something that each one of us should be doing. We have to examine ourselves daily. This is not something you can do uh, every, you know, week, every month, every so often, Okay? This is a daily thing. And if you're not doing this, you're going to fall out, okay? Because you're comfortable and you're content. And you believe that you're, you know, pretty much in a sense perfect, okay? That you don't really need any correction. And that's not true. We have to uh, examine ourselves and see where we're going off, okay? And, you know, a lot of things and a lot of times why, I'm going to put it like this, it, a lot of times why we fall is because we give into this flesh, okay? We don't rebuke the tempter, okay? Which the tempter is uh Satan, okay? We give in, in into our, you know, our our um our lust, our our pleasures, okay? And we have to, you know, constantly rebuke Satan, rebuke our our, our flesh, okay? You know, so we can uh walk in the spirit. Okay, and we're not going to get it perfect on this side. That's why we need Yahweh Shai. But as we grow in this, we have to constantly improve. Okay, we have to constantly improve. We can't, you know, uh, you know, be stagnant in this truth. Okay, now I want to start off with this. Uh, I want to start off with this Matthew's uh, the fourth chapter. I'm gonna start at the first verse, and we're gonna uh highlight some points right now. And it says, Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he fasted, and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterwards uh, hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. Now, Satan always comes, okay, when you're at your weakest point. Now, as it said there, Yahweh Shai was tempted after he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. That's when Satan came about. And you know Yahweh Shai was weak in the flesh. You know, he was you know, famished. You know, his, his body probably hurt. Because when you fast, okay, you know, your body is, you know, uh, it will eventually start, you know, uh, eating itself uh, in a sense, okay, to sustain uh, itself, okay? So you know his body was hurt, his muscles were weak, okay? His mind was weak as well, all right? But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, okay, Yahweh Shai, he rebuked Satan, and it's going to get into it, okay? I'm going to keep reading. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. And that's right. Man is not going to live by just bread alone. That's not going to do anything for us. Yeah, it, it carnally, you know, keeps us sustained and we keep moving. But our spirit isn't fed. An Israelite man needs his spirit fed, okay? And we need it daily. That's why we need to be reading daily. We need to be praying daily. We need to be uh, watching videos daily. Whatever it is, we have to tap into the spirit every day. We can't put this off, okay, from day to day. Seek the Lord while he may be found, okay? Isaiah 55 and 6, Sirach 5 and 7, you know, don't put off the, the Lord from day to day, okay? We got to constantly be in this spirit, all right? I'm going to keep reading. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down. 
For it is written, He shall give His angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou, uh, thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yahweh shall say unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mount, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Yahweh shall unto him, Give thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord Yahweh thy power, and him only shall, uh, shall thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now, I wanted to highlight verse uh, 10 and 11. Okay, Yahweh Shai rebukes Satan. He rebukes Satan. Okay? And when Yahweh Shai rebukes Satan, what happened? The, the, Satan fled. Okay? Now, that's something that we got to constantly do. We got to constantly rebuke Satan. Okay? And Satan is going to uh, uh, mess with you. Okay? Satan is going to uh, uh, play with your mind. Satan is going to hop on these individuals out here to agitate you. Satan is going to uh, uh, hop on you, okay, to make you go off, all right? But we got to constantly rebuke Satan to get to, 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 so he can flee. That's why prayer is very important, okay? And being in the spirit, all right? And what, what, what's the spirit? According to John 6 and 63, it's this word, okay? And this is not only, uh, oh, I read, you know, you know, uh, 10 chapters today. I'm good. No, it's not just about reading. It's about applying what you read. The application of the scriptures, okay? And now, um, what was I going to say? Um. That's the, there we go. That's that's the the understanding part because the wisdom is the uh, it acknowledges the scriptures, okay. But the understanding is the application of the actual uh, 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 scriptures you read, okay. You see, the this this Bible is useless if you're not applying. All right. You'll be just like these uh, churchgoers out here. You'll be just like. Anybody that picks up a Bible, okay, yeah, they can read, but they don't have the uh, uh, the understanding. Okay, that's why it says, blessed is he that readeth. Now, when you go into that word readeth in Revelation 1 and 3, it talks about having the understanding. Okay? You see, it's very important to apply. All right? And, and, and when the, you know... When you obey Yahweh Bashem Shai, when you, you know, let the spirit win and not the flesh, look, the Lord is going to protect you, okay? He's going to give you uh, 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 help, all right? That's why it, here it said uh, angels came and ministered unto him. That's when the angels helped, okay? When Yahweh Shai rebuked Satan, when he uh, 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 um, put his flesh into subjection, okay? And he was walking in the spirit, all right? Now from there, I want to get... um. James 4 and 7, okay? I think it's James 4 and 7. Yep, James 4 and 7. It says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from thee. Or flee from you, okay? And you got to resist the devil. It's a constant battle. You know, it, this, it, this is the greatest war that we're in, okay? This spiritual warfare. This is not a carnal warfare. This is something that, you know, we're finding some, we're finding stuff that cannot be seen. Okay. You're fighting spiritual uh, elements, man, so to speak. Okay. And that's much stronger than than these fleshly uh, things out here. Okay. That's why it's very taxing on the uh, on the body. It's very taxing on the spirit at times. Okay, that's why brothers, you know, uh, you know, they, they they get worn out because it's just not, you know, the the day to day, um, you know, activities that brothers go through, you know, going to work, dealing with family life, you know, uh, so on and so forth. Brothers are dealing with heavy, heavy uh, affliction spiritually. 
All right? We're dealing with heavy affliction spiritually. But this is a part of the battle. Okay? This is a, 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 a as the scriptures say, when it talks about counting the cost. This is something that was written in the in the job applic um, job description, okay? And we signed up for this. So we got to, you know, uh, deal with it. That's why it says in Sirach 2, in 1, uh, prepare thy soul for temptation when you, uh, when you serve the Lord, okay? All right? Hey, but, you know, Satan's going to come, you know, in all these different angles. But if you resist the devil, he's going to flee from you, okay? Eventually, Satan is going to, uh, you know, walk away. Okay, yes, he's going to come back. But at that, you know, if you, you know, fight off Satan, you resist, you know, uh, uh, a temptation, he's going to uh, flee, man. Okay. He will flee. Now from there, I'm going to get Romans 13 and 14. All right. This is Romans 13. In 14, it says, But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay, and we have to have that same, you know, mind frame as Yahweh Shai. Okay? We got to uh, uh, walk like he walked. And he's the greatest example. Alright, we read the Matthews, the fourth chapter. That was a, a great example. Okay, Yahweh Shai was tempted. And what did he do? He uh, uh, combated Satan with scriptures. He didn't give in, okay? And then he rebuked Satan. He rebuked Satan, and Satan had to flee, okay? Because he had the faith. He had faith, okay? He, he, he was walking in the spirit. Satan had to, 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 to flee, okay? It says, and make no provision for the flesh. Now, when you look up that word provision... All right. Strong's G, 4307. Pranoia. Pranoia. It's Pranoia, okay? It's uh, G4307. And it says uh, uh, a forethought, uh, okay? And um, it says to make provision for a thing. Now, when you look up this word provision, I'm going to look it up so, you, so we can get more understanding. Oh, of course. Okay, here we go. It says, the action of providing or supplying something for use. Okay? Now, we're not supposed to provide things for our flesh, okay, so to speak. Things that are going to make us go off. All right? Things that are, you know, well, we're not supposed to, um, you know, uh, do things that aren't beneficial to us. Okay? Don't allow this flesh to win. Like, don't put yourself in uh, a certain predicaments where it's gonna, where you know you're gonna get tempted. All right, you know, say if you're a brother that you know that that has a you know a weak to women, you know that's a your one of your weak points. And in the world you were you know uh, known for committing adultery and stuff. Don't go out into the club then, man. Because you know those clubs are just the harlot houses. Majority of those women are going to have uh, men. So why put yourself in that predicament? You know? You know, that's just one example I could think of. You know, or if you're, you know, a brother that was uh, heavily into, you know, partying. All right? Why, why, uh, why go to the clubs? Why go to the house parties, you know? Why go to the bars, man? Okay? You know that, you know, it, 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 you were constantly, you know, smoking, you know, doing drugs or whatever. Why, why put yourself in that predicament? You know that's all that's in that uh, environment, you know? Like I said, those are just some examples I could think of on the spot. Don't put yourself in a predicament where you're going to fall, man, okay? I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to read it again, though. Um, Romans 13 and 14. But put ye on the Lord... Yahweh Shai HaMashach and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And that's the thing. You don't want to fulfill the lust 
of your flesh. All right? Because, yeah, the, 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 the things of this world, it feels good to the flesh. It does. You know, you want to be, the, you, know, the, 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 you know, the man, the hot shot, you know? You want to have all the women around you. You want to have the praise, the, you know, the glory. You know, you want to feel good off these drugs. You know, you, you want to um, feel good off the drink. All right. You want to, you know, uh, you know, you know, make a bunch of money. You want to, you know, eat out, you know, eat good, buy all these clothes. And these things are just, you know, it's not it's not beneficial, man. All in all, this stuff is not beneficial. All right. You see, we, we got to continue to walk in the spirit. That's what's really going to be beneficial, okay? Because when that time comes, when all hell breaks loose, well, what does it say in the scriptures? Every man's going to be judged according to his work. If you've been reaping, or if you've been sowing, Salaki, if you've been sowing spiritual things, you've been fighting this flesh, you've been, you know, doing what's commanded of you, what are you going to reap? You're going to reap spiritual things. You're going to reap a, 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 a righteous reward. But see, these people, they've been doing nothing but sowing in wickedness, folly. Okay? They've been sowing uh, um, uh, uh, carnal things. And what are they going to reap? A wicked uh, a reward. And it's going to be destruction. Okay? That, that's the reward of the wicked. Destruction. Death, agony, pain, sorrows, lamentations, mournings, and woes. All right? But, um, you know, the righteous reward is, is salvation, uh, um, righteousness being instilled in us, you know, a angelic bodies, honor and glory, man. All right? And that's what we want. Okay, because that's going to be an everlasting thing. Okay, now from there I want to get Sirach 18 and 30. It says, go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thy appetites. Okay, and that's what we must do. We got to refrain from our appetites. All right, and that's not talking about, you know, uh, foods necessarily. It's talking about your uh, desires, your wants. Okay, refrain yourself from these things. Okay, because you, you're going to have things that are completely, you know, going off and wicked, right? You have to cut that off. But there's also certain things where, yes, it's not necessarily going off. As the scriptures say, all things are lawful, but are they expedient? Okay, and basically expedient goes into being wise. Okay, now, are certain things that... That you, you can do. Is it wise to do it all the time? You know? And that's something every brother has to, uh, to think about. They have to examine these things. You know, that's why it's good to refrain yourself uh, from your appetites, okay? Because it's ultimately going to... Uh, you know, because you're basically feeding the spirit. And then, like I said, it's gonna, uh, that's going to be beneficial later. You know, but... If you're constantly just letting the flesh win, constantly giving in, look, you, you, you're you going to slowly fall out, man, of this truth, okay? You know? You know, everything, it, everything is a test in this truth, okay? Everything's a test, and we got to, you know, make sure that we, uh, you know, pass it. You know, we're not going to win every time because we are going to fall. But we got to make sure that, you know, we, we try our best to, you know, you know, pass, you know, each and every test that the Lord gives us. All right. Now, from there, I'm going to end it off with this Galatians 5 and 16. Yep. Galatians 5 and 16 through 17. This is Galatians 5 and 16. It says, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 
Okay? And as I you know, uh, I mentioned earlier, the spirit goes into this word. Okay? So if you're uh, um, living your life, you know, like you're supposed to as an Israelite, okay, you're not going to fulfill the, the lust of the flesh. Make sure that you're applying what you're reading. Okay? Make sure you have uh, discernment. All right? You see? It says, for the flesh, for, like, for the flesh lusteth at, against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Okay? So it's a constant battle. It's all, it's a, 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 you know, the spirit versus the flesh. And they're contrary to one another. Your flesh is going to want to do stuff that's completely wicked. You know, commit adultery, do drugs. Do a bunch of weird stuff. Okay? Your flesh wants to do these things because it feels good. It's pleasurable. Okay? But we know in the spirit that these things are wrong. We can't be doing it. Okay? Our spirit knows this. Alright? And that's why it's a huge battle. That's why there's times where, you know, your flesh wins. There's times where your spirit wins. Okay? And we all want to be perfect. Hey, but we, we can't right now. Because as it says in the book of Romans, that this, uh, uh, basically, that the flesh is subject to vanity. Okay? I think in the book of Jude, it talks about that this is the chains of darkness. Talking about the, this body. This body is the chains of darkness because it's going to go off. That's why we need a savior. We need Yahweh Shah to come back to redeem us. Okay? Not only save us from Esau, but also ourselves. Because in the kingdom, you know, which is such a beautiful thing, the Lord is going to uh, uh, um, give us these angelic bodies. But well, we're going to have all the law, statutes, and commandments in us. And we're never going to go off again. We're going to be perfect, righteous servants to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? And that's going to be a beautiful day. But, you know, as of now, we're, we're not there yet. So, what do, we, what do we have to do to get there? We got to labor. And we got to fight. Okay? Labor and fight. You know, and um, I hope this was an edifying video. You know, I can just, um, hey, you know, re resist, you know, uh, this, you know, uh, flesh, you know, don't fulfill the lust of the, uh, of the flesh, you know, rebuke Satan, rebuke the tempter, all right, and keep fighting this good fight, you know, we got to just keep improving, you know, keep trimming the fat, so to speak, man. You know, we're, we we got a lot of work to do. We're not done. It's not over until it's over. All right? Until Yahweh Shai get, uh, has us beamed up. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has us beamed up, okay? You know? And, uh, you know, I'm going to just end it off with that. And, uh, you know, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you brothers out there. Shalom.